So no harm in that cup of espresso. Now you might think, what's the big deal about eating alone? Still, it is true that the idea of dining solo in a restaurant makes many people uncomfortable, especially in cultures like Korea, where eating is such a social communal activity that even the Korean word for family, shikgu, literally means those who eat together. But times have changed, and flying solo, a table for one, is no longer the lonely act that it once was. Our Ian Shin has more on this new trend increasingly gaining ground, especially among younger Koreans. In Korea, bonding over dinner or a drink is in the culture. As even one of the most common parting phrases of the country is, let's grab a meal sometime. So, to some, the act of dining solo may be uncomfortable or even taboo. But over the past few years, more and more people have taken to the table alone without minding the stairs. It may have been common to see people dining alone at cafes or fast food chains before. But in the nation nowadays, we see more and more single customers at pubs or restaurants. I often choose to eat alone before I go to work. It's kind of nice that I don't have to plan around someone else's schedule. Besides, I don't really care what others think of me. We have a big number of single customers here. In fact, the number has been increasing quite constantly. And going to places without company is not just limited to eating and drinking as places once seen as exclusively for groups are attracting more solo guests. The number of unaccompanied customers at movie theaters has been growing for the past few years. And according to Statistics Korea, the amount of people who prefer a company by their side has dropped over time in the nation. Although this trend could be attributed to the growing number of single-person households in Korea, experts are saying otherwise. Slowly drifting away from group-centered culture, we as Koreans used to know, individuality and personal rights are prioritized in the nation nowadays. Kids are taught they should be able to do whatever they want without caring too much about others' opinions. And this attitude among the younger generation is a major factor that contributes to the rising number of single-person households. Always needing company to go to places is now a thing of the past. Going solo seems to be the new social norm, with establishments of all sorts of catering to one person at a time, showing that now, more than ever, being alone does not mean being lonely. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.